Y qué tal a todos, aquí Mr. Miria Gaming comentando en la parte 15 de GTA V Estoy por, estoy por hacer una de las misiones de Michael, podría decirse A ver, estoy con estoy con Franklin únicamente debido al pequeño inconveniente, inconveniente que hubo con Martin Madrazo Ese narcotraficante que le debía 2 millones solo por destruir una casa en la colina En la colina de Vinewood pero ahora que después nos pidió un favor y, bueno, conociendo a Trevor hizo ciertas cosas que a él no le agradaron mucho al querido narcotraficante. Y ahora Michael y Trevor están, están supuestamente ocultos en el desierto. En, en, seguro en la casa de Trevor donde están ahí. No sé por qué aquí aparece para hacer una misión. Ha, ha de estar vacía la casa. Voy a jugar con, con Franklin hasta que se pueda desbloquear a los demás personajes. Eh, hay una, una misión más de David, pero primero veo qué ha ocurrido aquí. A ver, por cierto, han secuestrado a la mujer de Madrazo, aunque creo que a ese tipo no le interesaba mucho, supongo. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey, Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? Patricia. Uh, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go! La última vez que tuvo algo relacionado con Meriwether, que era el golpe de Meriwether o algo así, creo que se llamaba la misión, era robar una bomba nuclear. Espero que esta vez sean solo armas. Armas en serio porque esa es la única forma de conseguir dinero. No con una bomba nuclear que se la puede vender a chinos y considerarme un terrorista nacional. Internacional, mejor dicho. What are you gonna do? We're not gonna take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We gotta meet him in the air. I, uh, well, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Town... Great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. 
What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards, merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. There's Oscar's business. That's bringing cash in. My stake in Oscar's thing ain't under the TP conglomerate umbrella. I want my own brand success. It takes time. Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface, is gonna give that to me. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Um, me acuerdo más o menos. El GTA San Andreas estaba este avión, pero lo único que lanzaba era un chorro de colores, nada más. Humo de colores, este creo que era rojo, pero... Necesita un largo rato para elevarse esta cagada. Por lo menos no son parecidos a los de las misiones de los aviones. Casi la cagaba. Por lo menos estos aviones no son tan difíciles de manejar como los aviones de, de juguete que estaban en el GTA San Andreas. En GTA Vice City sí estaba, sí estaba pero solo, solo en una misión secundaria pequeña de actividad. Lo bueno es que no tengo una barra de combustible que se me esté acabando. Eso está bien. Ahora lo que me pregunto es cómo sería un GTA con combustible. Pas nunca pasen por helicóptero ni siquiera rodeando este lugar. Te vas a hacer mierda. Y no importa que esté, fu esté fuera del radar. Empieza a sentir un un unos tonitos y ahí llega el misil. El avión más rápido, creo que ya deben de saberlo, es el Hydra aquí en GTA V. Creo que se lo obtiene entran, infiltrándose en la base militar, pero este eso es otro tema. Creo que persiguen como cuatro estrellas o cinco estrellas al máximo. La única forma sería tener este ser extremadamente habilidoso, porque aquí puede ser que hayan puesto barra de sig habilidad de sigilo, pero hay una pequeña cuestión. La pequeña cuestión es que no... La pequeña cuestión es que no... Exactly. 
And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? You're the most honest, principled man I know, Trevor. A man of integrity. Bien. ¿En qué era lo que estaba? Ah, ya que. Tengo que esperar hasta que. Uy, 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 uy. ¿Cuánto tiempo tengo que esperar hasta que ese Jun... Tengo que esperar hasta que aterrice en algún lado. Creo que esta era la misión. Esta es la misión de que tengo que. Acercarme. Tener que acercarme con una avioneta no es lo suficientemente bueno para... Creo que el que estaba ahí detrás quedó en shock. Lo bueno es que no hay carga explosiva. ¿Y tendré que manejar un avión Jumbo? Espero que sí. Ahora se supone que estoy a la otra punta del mapa y estaba... El avión recuerdo que estaba andando por aquí, más o menos. Pero es lo que quieren hacer. Realmente que estos aviones son gigantes. Shit. Gain some altitude. They might not tangle with you up there. Fly above them. All right. Any offensive action will be met with overwhelming retaliation. 
Good landing! At McKenzie Field, we can discuss this there, on the dirt, like men. No creo que hagan caso a esa, a esa pregunta. Esa cuestión no va a ser respondida. No les importa las bajas que, van a, que va a ocurrir ahí abajo al caerse semejante avión. Se supone que esta cosa puede volar muchísimo más alto. Esto sí que anda lento, anda demasiado lento. Tendré que meterme en alguna posición indicada para... Y ahí está. Carajo, 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 vamos, 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 vamos. Esto es solo para meterle más presión, lanzar cajas por detrás mío. ¿Dónde carajo? Ahí está el aeródromo. Va a caer en el mar. Bueno, no en el mar, en el, más o menos como un lago. O parte del río. Qué musiquita más triste realmente. Podríamos bucear para conseguir las armas. Vuelo a cuatro ruedas que se supone que, que querían pedirme ahí en esa misión. Era lo único que había que hacer, era un, robar un, un avión de mierda. Salir del avión de, de carga en el mesa. Ha de ser algún lugar. Y bueno, la precisión también me faltó. Bien. Trevor, shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask, are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. ¿Qué misión tengo ahora? Ah, esos son los del FIB. Y apareció creo que otra misión de Lester. Una misión de asesinato, pero voy a concentrarme en esto. La, la misión del FIB. Lo más probable es que me hagan hacer alguna o que otra cagada, pero vamos a ver. O oh, estas... Esta furgoneta. 
Ay, no, 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 no. Esta furgoneta legendaria en GTA. Bueno, solo. Solo GTA San Andreas estaba, era la única donde estaba. Eso más, más o menos recuerdo. Pero aquí también. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man! You were something! But now, man, you know, you're like this place! You're a shell! Go fuck yourself! Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero! So far above it all! Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart! Rip it open! See what's there, baby, because I'm ready! Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, Are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on, you're driving us up to the bank. Una preparación, Paleto Bay, no sé qué lugar es ese, uh, espero que por lo menos, bueno, no, mejor me voy olvidando de que voy a recibir algo siquiera. Y mágicamente trajo el auto para aquí. No se me ocurre cómo, pero bueno. Ahí, no, 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 ahí está. Let me call 
faster. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, and meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to leave me. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto hipster. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. That made my point. I'm not a sadist. Creo que ahí se terminó. No, no tenía ni idea de que hipster se podía llamar gafapasta y es prim primera vez que oigo ese término. Bien, ahora hay que robar un banco. Espero que me gane un poco la tajada, este, aparte de que hay que comprar un helicóptero de dos rotores. Y después recién ir a robar eso, esas armas a los terroristas. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. 
dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind. And no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Mm hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. And we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Carajo de... Al fin y al cabo no puedo ver un sorete. Okay, I brought my police scanner. I'll drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. Four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito radio, this is Polito car three. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still f faster than your ass. What? I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. This is Trevor Phillips' country. They ain't beating me across it. Una carrera. No, 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 not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor says office, he really means a burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea. I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab, just perfect. Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. 
Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification, minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. You have been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Uh, excuse me, we're kind of driving here, Trevor. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. Then why do you need the money? Okay? No, 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 no. Then why do you need the money? Carajo. Hey. All right, so... There's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with it? you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County savings and loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And... Guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see. But I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it, or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talking? Taking the cops head on, messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Casi me hago mierda, y qué bien que lo adelante. Aunque el auto no está muy bien. Eh, voy a de... Este, creo que hasta aquí terminaría el video, terminando ahí la misión, porque va a ser medio largo tener que organizar el golpe. Con las cosas previas que me van a pedir. Well, we got here before the Lord of the Manor. <laughs> the man slows me down, always has. What took you so long? Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Uh, yo, bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Elijo a alguien bien. No voy a cometer la cagada de elegir a un principiante y que se muera, porque en realidad eso es lo que ocurre. No había variación en la última misión que tenía que asaltar la joyería. Elegí a un principiante y se murió. Y, la, y, y jugué esa misión para conseguir el oro como... Bien. Elegí a ese principiante y este, pasé la misión cuatro veces para intentar conseguir el oro. 
el, el, la calificación de oro por las dudas. Eh, y se murió cuatro veces, así que elijo al, al profesional, igual no importa el dinero. Gus Moda, es un pro, no hay mucho más que decir. ¿Es realmente el hombre que quieres? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm? you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but you know, me casa, su casa. Huh? I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, to yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Bien, ya está. ¿Ahora qué? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos aquí? Vamos. Nos van a pedir ir a algún lado. No, ah, y es. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey man. Eso lo dejo para después. Mm, veo que todavía no aparece el golpe. Creo que tendría que hacer todo antes de, de empezar. Bien, no fue tan entretenido este, la, esta parte realmente. No fue más que nada alguna, aparte de intentar robar un avión militar. Bien. Voy a dejar hasta aquí la parte 15, espero que les haya gustado, si es así por favor denle like y suscríbanse, eso me ayudaría bastante, ya estaré subiendo los próximos videos, que espero que sean un poco, las misiones sean más divertidas que estas, en serio. Así que, estén atentos a mi canal o también pueden seguirme en mis páginas de Facebook o Twitter abajo en la descripción. Y sin más que decir, nos vemos.